Don't worry. This is just the beginning. First of all, what is going on with Laurie? I only got eight. Oh, Season 2 of Euphoria had a lot going on. Like, a lot a lot. With about a million overlapping, unresolved stories heading into the season 2 finale, fans were curious how the last episode would wrap everything up. Well, the answer was simple, it didn't. The season ender left viewers with tons of cliffhangers, leaving the fandom with so many questions that Euphoria season 3 needs to answer. Unfortunately, since it'll probably be a long wait for the next season, fans will have a ton of time to ruminate on these pressing questions. The HBO teen drama's second season set up a lot of new twists for its ensemble cast, including toxic love triangles between Maddie, Cassie, and Nate, and also Rue, Jules, and Elliot. Rue's worsening substance use disorder hit new lows when she got involved with a terrifying dealer named Lori, and Fez and Ashtray's life turned upside down as they faced the repercussions of Ash murdering Mouse. And while all that was happening, Lexi developed a cute relationship with Fez, Kat, and Ethan weirdly broke up, Nate's dad Cal left his family behind to pursue his long-repressed fantasies, and some suspicious bonding happened between Maddie and her boss Samantha. I got you something. And that's just some of the chaos, most of which was not at all resolved in season 2's finale. As fans wait for season 3, these are the questions everyone can't stop asking. 1. What happened to Fez? Sadly, the season 2 finale was the end of Ashtray, but the fate of his big bro Fez is much less clear. After Fez was shot by a stray bullet in Ash's shootout with the cops, viewers didn't see him again in the episode. The SWAT team walked out of Fez's empty apartment after the brawl with no sign of him anywhere. There are three obvious options as to what happened. Fez perished in the shootout, he survived and was apprehended by the cops, or he somehow found a way to escape. That last options feels way too far-fetched, though, it's most likely Fez will be in police custody in season 3, but nobody knows that for sure. 2. Why hasn't Laurie collected Rue's debt yet? Did you forget that Rue stole $10,000 worth of pills from Laurie, the bone-chilling crime lord had threatened to hold Rue captive and force her into sex work to get her money back? It felt like the show forgot about that too. After Rue managed to narrowly escape Lori's grasp, she somehow was able to recover from her relapse and attend Lexi's play without issue. Lori definitely does not come off as the forgiving type, so it was pretty weird that she didn't come after Rue right away, but you can bet she'll be coming for that money in season 3. 3. Was Jules on Cal's flash drive that Nate gave to the police? At long last, Nate got the vengeance on his father he'd always wanted in the season 2 finale, but it wasn't super clear just how he did it. As the police showed up at Cal's construction site to arrest him, Nate brandished a flash drive in front of his father, cryptically saying it contained everything. It's almost assured that the drive contains Cal's vast collection of sexual encounters, likely including videos with minors similar to the one he made with Jules. That would explain why the drive got him arrested, but one question still remains, was Jules' video on the drive or not? Earlier in the season, Nate handed over what he promised, was the only copy of Cal and Jules' video to Jules, who promptly destroyed it. If Nate was lying, and Jules is on the flash drive he gave to the police, her big secret might be brought to light in season 3. Um, I'm gonna go, okay. 4. Where do Maddie and Cassie stand with each other, and with Nate? After a season full of secrets, backstabbing, and insults, Maddie and Cassie finally got to have a cathartic, full-on fight in the season finale. But the final moment between the two, former, besties ended with a very ambiguous line. Tending to their battle wounds in the bathroom, a resigned Cassie revealed Nate broke up with her before she stormed the stage of Lexi's play, to which Maddie ominously replied, don't worry, this is just the beginning. Don't worry. This is just the beginning. That can be read two ways, either Maddie is cool with Cassie again and wants to team up to take down Nate, or she's taunting Cassie by telling her she's entered a cycle of abuse with Nate, where they'll make up and break up several more times. Who's the cunt now? 5. Why did Maddie's boss secretly record her? Earlier in season 2, eagle-eyed fans spotted a hidden camera in the closet of Maddie's babysitting boss Samantha, and it raised a lot of questions about her motives. The predominant theory is that Samantha developed romantic feelings for Maddie and used the secret recordings to help gift Maddie the dress she loved to try on while Samantha was away from home. 
but it feels like there's a lot more going on here, and the show never addressed the camera at all. Could season 3 add a new twist into this storyline? Good practice. Mm. 6. Will Rue and Jules get back together? After just barely keeping together an extremely rocky relationship, Rue finally broke up with Jules in the season 2 finale. The split felt pretty final, but there's also reason to believe they'll get back together next season. After all, season 1 ended with Jules leaving Rue, but then rekindling things in the season 2 premiere. Season 3 could mirror that with Rue getting back together with Jules after some time apart. 7. Will season 3 have a time jump? One of the very last lines of season 2 was Rue saying, I stayed clean for the rest of the school year in her voiceover narration. Obviously, that suggests she's not sober for good, which could very well mean the next season will pick up when her substance use disorder rears its ugly head again. The line was likely included to give fans a warning that season 3 won't pick up directly after Lexi's play, but quite some time afterwards. Maybe being a good person is what keeps me trying to. Don't worry. This is just the beginning. She forgives me. Jake, look at me. 